aging face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome to another episode of Who Was it Really Better? And before going into this episode, I want to say that I'm sorry that this upload is later than it was actually intended to. I was supposed to upload this actually on Wednesday, but due to, of course, me being on vacation, I haven't been able to, of course, record too many videos, sadly. So with that said, we are going to talk about, of course, Gilead versus Medisham. And these two actually have been against one another for quite some time, even have a joint tier for as long as they've actually been introduced. Of course, Medisham, and of course, Generation 3 was one of the primary fighting types due to high jump kick and of course his ability of pure power in Gleed of course got introduced in generation 4 and they have been against one another on par uh, from that very generation actually sharing of course tears since then so of course with that said they'll have a lot of things in common but also a lot of things that it doesn't share and we're gonna of course try to define them and see which one is really better so before we talk about anything else, of course, we have to, of course, mention their typing before going over their stats, because there are important things to mention here. Fighting and Psychic type is not the best offensive nor defensive typing combination. Um, as a Psychic type, it does help the fighting a little bit, because you do lack, of course, resistances to, of course, uh, the Dark type, which hits you neutrally. So you are resistant to, of course, fighting and rock, so being resistant to stealth rocks is actually kind of nice. But there are a lot of weaknesses that actually are followed up with, of course, being a psychic type combination with, of course, the fighting. So as a fighting type, you do maintain your flying weakness, but you do get hit neutrally, of course, by psychic. But now you're weak to, of course, still a fairy. And ghost typing is a new weakness if you've got a control fighting type. So there are a lot of common hits here, and there actually are very powerful hits in general, of course, from these typing who clearly are maintainly very very offensively pressured even though they could be a bit bulkier so with that said we're of course gonna go over their stats a little bit so if we look of course the uh, hp stats there they are a small advantage to Gallade with 68 versus 60 and uh, then of course come to attack with minishim only have a 60 compared of course Gallade 1 and 25 one has to remember though that due to of course pure power its real attack is actually 165 base attack with of course the total in comparing which means that in theory it has 40 more than the lead if of course it keeps the pure power intact then of course comes the defenses where of course medisham just excel a little bit with 75 versus 65 and of course special attacks are pretty much tied there with 65 versus 60 and clearly these are physical attackers there's no doubt about that uh, though they both got access to call mine should be definitely mentioned they were called a special defense and here's where Gallade just a little bit of a leap there with of course 75 versus 115 which is I say a clear leap definitely reserving the same special defense as of course a god of war and of course it comes to speed they're actually tied there for 80 so that's really really important to remember that due to even though they have the same kind of spikes outside of course the bulk necessarily they do kind of do the same thing here, which is of course super super offensive Pokemon that are in base AD category. So last but not least, we're of course going to talk about their abilities and start with Gallade here. We got Steadfast and Justified. Steadfast is a decent ability since you can't get flinched when of course it's expecting of course a fake out, which is kind of nice to know. And of course, Justified boosts your attack by one. And if you're attacked by a dog type move, so that's kind of nice. Consider, of course, what the fighting type does to psychic. So that's definitely good to be reserved for. That there are really no penalty for getting a knockoff on you or taking a special dog type move, which clearly is something that is common with the like of dog pulls, etc. But of course, the main dish or the main story here is, of course, Medisham and the pure power. It is a reason this is actually a dial in the first place because, as stated here. It pushes the boundary of Medisham's base attack way above those 60. Pure power doubles the attack, but no double attack does not mean double base power. It definitely means double the stat point, which means it's way above those base 60. And I stated, turns out to be 165, which is pretty darn scary. That means that Gallade is in theory weaker than Medisham on the actually turn one. Uh, Medisham does give telepathy too, but I don't know anyone who ever tried that at VGC. I don't see the point for it. Pure power is such a good ability, definitely one of the best in the game, and definitely make Medisham a very, very threatening Pokemon, even though it has what I would say a bit of a weird to bad bulk in general. 
So with that said, of course, it's very clear that Medisham offensively are a lot better than Gallade. And uh, Gallade clearly is definitely more defensive than, of course, Medisham. Though it may not actually matter that much depending on how you want to view these Pokemon. And, of course, depending on how you want to use them. So they're only as good as their move pool make them out to be. So with that said, we're going to, of course, talk about their move pool. And surprisingly enough, they are really, really similar even on this part. Because they're both, of course, as known for their scarfing capabilities. Usually these are, of course, offensive scarfers, which means they both get trick, which means they can do pretty much the same thing there. And, of course, they both get close combat, dream punch, psycho cuts, and headbutt. They both get the elemental punches. And, of course, it likes a poison jab, which clearly, of course, helps it out quite a lot against, of course, the pesky fairy types. And, of course, they get both rock slide, which are super important for potential flying typings. But after that, they start to change up a little bit, and of course, where they can excel at. And for example, Medishan, which I do believe is the most important Pokemon to talk about, because it doesn't differ all that much from Gallade, but the few moves it learns outside of, of course, what Gallade is all doing, actually is a bit of a niche and definitely makes it a little bit more interesting when it comes to type of priority, because they both get Bullet Punch and Fake Out too. Pretty weak moves in general, but due to, of course, Medisham's attack, it actually does hurt quite a lot to be able to deal with. And then, of course, Medisham gets High Jump Kick, which basically means it doesn't need to force itself down with, of course, its special defense and defense after utilizing its moves. It also gets, of course, Recovery if you want to utilize that. That is an option. So Medisham, while not having the broader move pool here, it does have a few relevant moves that are definitely worth mentioning. And of course, with that said, you know that, of course, Gallade does kind of spike a little bit more, and it's actually fairly interesting due to it. So what do Gallade get? Well, a lot, really. And I really, really, really mean a lot. Because yes, Medisham does hurt a lot more, but Gallade does at least get on a chance to compare itself with a move pool that stands out a little bit. Uh, first of all, of course, it gets Sword Stance, which is something Medisham does lack. Medisham and Gallade just get pulled up together, but Sword Stance definitely makes it spike a little bit more. And together with, of course, the likes of Leaf Blade and Knockoff, uh, Gallade can take on a little bit of a matchup, of course. Clearly, Bulky Waters is the one that I'm firmly talking about, but also Ghost Type. Being able to have knockoff is a very, very important part of Gallade's repertoire. But it's not ending there. Gallade also gets, much like Medicham, some type of priority. Joe, in my honest opinion, is definitely not as viable, but Shadow Sneak is there. If you want to have a more bulky set, then Gallade can pull that off to court with Sword Stance. And then, of course, we have what I would call the status moves. Gallade has a very, very good special defense, and being able to go for Will-O-Wisp and basically maneuver yourself to even have a decent way of defending yourself make Gallade a bit more interesting. And of course, Thunder Wave. So Gallade, while not as offensively scary as Medisham, does have a way to, of course, support itself to actually be able to match up against, the, of course, the opponent comes in on it. A few other moves that could definitely be mentioned here just for Gallade's kind of a niche move really is of course the Disable because Disable sub is something that actually could be utilized with Gallade due to of course Pain Split due to its low base of course HP even though they actually share a, both I should say a really, really low HP um, Gallade can still utilize Pain Split fairly well and definitely better than Recover clearly because there really aren't that much to recover if you are going to utilize that with Medicham and you are not, you definitely are not going to utilize that with Medicham so as you guys can see, they are having a lot of things in common, and so much so, this, this is definitely not an easy task to talk about it. Because, yeah, sure, Gallade has the broader move pool. It does have the better overall matchup suggestion with, of course, Sword Stance. It is able to do a lot more, but then we're looking, of course, at Medisham, who actually, while it lacks a variety in move pool, it still does the damage. It still does do a whole lot of damage. And... Compared to of course Gallade, it doesn't need to set up to actually be relevant and scary turn one. And that is something I've definitely been actually juggling back and forth, you know. Is those extra attack and the lesser move pool really enough to make it way above Gallade? And um, the story to this is, well, I would say no. I'm actually gonna give this win to Gallade. And it's really just for one and one reason only. And that is that, yes, I would say that Medisham in RU are a lot better than Gallade. And as stated here, I did say that Leaf Blade is 
something that would counter of course water type but you can realize that both get thunder punch which clearly is the better overall choice of dealing with flying types too but it comes down to this yes as stated Medijam is better than RU, but when it comes to overall matchup throughout the game, there are an importance to actually be able to deal with your clear counters, and Medijam does have a clear counter in Ghost type, while Sen Headbutt and Psycho Cut does do roughly enough damage on them. It's a very clear that Knockout do a lot more, and together with Sword Stats to be able to predict that happening and actually becoming that strength to be able to want it KO that, it makes Glade slightly better, but as I stated here, Matchup wise against one another, I would say Medisham any day of the week. Uh, there are a very clear indication that due to Medisham's extra strength, it is able to deal with more defensive matchups. Fairy types, for example, aren't faster than those base 80. And it's important to remember that, that Medisham is the better, what I would say, fairy killer between these two. Even though the both get poison jab, it's very clear with Medisham, when it goes for poison jab, it kills. When Glade does it, it just kind of get the Moonblast back. But there is the thing, Medisham can't take that Moonblast, Gallade does have the special defense to lead soak that and try again. And that's the, pretty much the end of the story, I do believe Medisham offensively is the better Pokemon, but Gallade is able to, due to its own stamina, keep on going and it is offensive enough to hurt. And I definitely, due to that very reason alone, give Gallade a victory in this matchup. So, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and what are your thoughts? I, like I said there, I definitely thought this episode was really, really tough. I talked actually with a few friends on, you know, which Pokemon they thought was better, and they all say Medicham. So I knew I was definitely going against everybody by saying the things I've done today. But I definitely feel that the overarching delay just has the variety to do more than Medicham. It doesn't mean that's, that Medicham is bad by any sense of the imagination. And uh, yeah, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you of course on Wednesday, when we're gonna talk about these two.